the talk um, in Britain, for example, lecture from the lecture was for me a big uh, so amazing the lecture from Professor Bamet about uh, the architecture of atheism. I read about it a lot of but uh, I never heard for the art author the like this or some uh, some reconstruction and so and for example for Ulikimus the last one uh, uh, lecture was for me something I I should also know I should do this also because it's also important for the, for the future. And I want to thank the uh, the, the colleague for for the introduction on time on effort which was very nice uh, the, the, the it was all the time uh, for us to, to to say something or to answer our question I know it was not always easy to answer our question <laughs> uh, I thank you and also the uh, professor Yosse also thank you for uh, for all, all helping us so on our uh, all things. And uh, what was for me also important was uh, the faculty. Because uh, I know Vima, I know my lectures, I know Sabre lectures, I know Priyeme for the literature. But what I uh, already said, or Sanka said a little bit, the touch, the antique, it was, uh, it was an important thing for me. Uh, because you know from the from the uh, book is not like to like it. So again, thank you and uh, thank you for the participation. <laughs> wow. What words can I use to describe such a full and exciting two weeks? Let me begin by thanking some of the people who have gotten me to this point. In my field of Feminist New Testament and Early Christianity Studies, um, Professor Melanie Nelson de at Curie University, Professor Laura Estrella at Harvard Divinity School, and their teachers in mind, Elizabeth Schuster Fiorenza and uh, Helmut Hester, as well as Professor uh, Francois Bobon, they have inspired me to use the study of archaeological materials to flesh out early Christian texts. Each object has a story of itself. The Crystal Library Summer School has given me new tools to use in these investigations of life and integrity. We've had such a rich program, from our lessons on numismatics and topography to our hikes of the newly discovered aqueducts in the Christian monuments, to our visits to the terrace houses, the mosques, and the quarries, and to our discussions of anesthesiosis and restoration. We've learned an extraordinary amount about many aspects of ancient life. In the ancient cities of Ephesus, Medias, Hyene, Cinema, and Theros, and Nokian. We have crossed boundary lines, we have read inscriptions, heard stories of excavations, and considered many theories of function and history. But we have had all of these adventures with people from various different backgrounds who bring new questions, approaches, and languages, and with the excavators themselves. What a privilege. And even though it was hot and sometimes we got tired, <laughs> we, learned, we learned, we shared our stories over Chai and Ephesus, and we had fun. And I think the dream lives on. Thank you, and thanks to everyone who has made this an incredible experience. Restoration, uh, anesthesiosis, residential architecture, imperial cults, and the modern history of this area, Ionia, to uh, name a few. But one topic in particular I think encaps encapsulates the program pretty well, um, and that was yesterday's lecture on the library itself and the anesthesiosis that went into it. Um, because yesterday we talked a lot about perception, and I think perception is. Perception is, in a way, the culmination of everything we've been talking about in the past two weeks. Um, the Romans 
use perception to modify the building to a human to the human eye. Um, for instance, the well, archaeologists, of course, have to deal with perception in the sense that, um, you know, in the order of which the in which you uncover uh, monuments, um, dealing with our modern perspective in relationship to the ancient ar artifacts that we're looking at. Um, and then finally, uh, okay. oh, this is here. but finally, um, we talk about perception in ways of what, and a lot of that happens outside of lectures and uh, on visits because we're a group of international students. So we all talk to each other about our experiences in our lives at home. Um, I think everyone has learned to take out the ten around five languages, for instance. Um, and so that's just an example of uh, perception and communication. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that we've learned that we've, we've learned less about what is and more about what is. And so I think that's an important lesson to bring to the future um, as we look at every situation, every artifact, every monument, um, and every person from many different sides. So, and, uh, so on a personal level, this uh, program has solidified and has helped, has helped solidify my career goals. Um, I was inspired, further inspired, to combine architecture and uh, psychology, talk about perception, and learn about perception in buildings. Um, and I hope to do that in the future. Um, and so finally, I'd just really like to thank Janet um, and all the professors, as well as all the students. I'm really enjoyed getting to know all of you and learning. Does impact 
what we learned today. Um, and like Kenny said, our job is really an interdisciplinary field. We've got um, uh, linguists, we've got art historians, we've got um, excavators, um, and numismatists. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's really great to meet people who know so many different things and who come together to share a discussion on one city or one monument that we can physically, tangibly see and not just read about in a book or imagine it. Um, um, and I guess the lesson that I've really learned is that we're always all so learning. And even just between the students, I think that I've learned um, something from each of you, even if it's, it's just how to say, how are you in another language, or um, what your specialty is. Um, so I think um, the trip has really inspired me to think about more life questions, um, what I want to do in the future, and um, what I want to study, I suppose. Um, as an art historian, I wasn't very well-versed in Ashur or um, ancient Greek, but <laughs> I still managed to learn a lot. Um, and this program really showed us many different aspects, um, private houses versus public monuments, and I thought it was just really great to see and talk with all these great professors who actually work on the site and um, really imparted um, their experience to us.
But what is more important is to be at these meetings with all the people who excavated it and, and just to, to listen from them and to hear everything they have to say. Um, um, well, uh, the architect's experience is something I would really love to do again. <laughs> and, uh, well, one of the most the best days I had here is the third house. Uh, and all the renovations and restorations, well, that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. <laughs> and um, this, this problem wasn't just educational, it was also a social where Everyone made friends, everyone met other different nationality people. And uh, we came here as guests for really good, really good friends, and I hope we can do that. Most of all, I'd like to thank Dennis, because <laughs> uh, without your help, nothing would have been possible, and I would be standing here. So, a big word thank you from all my heart, and thank you for everybody who helped uh, make this experience so like. Thank you. because I was afraid of speak English. Uh, but when I met these two people, uh, I forgot my fears uh, because everyone was helping me to understand. Um, we have good friends, friends from different countries. Uh, we try to learn uh, the culture of different countries. Uh, we visited many great places together, had fun and love. Uh, but most importantly, I have learned uh, about Ephesus uh, and uh, other cities from teaching staff. Uh, I learned a lot, a lot of things uh, about architecture and history for me and for my job in this program. I wish we had had more time to learn more from you. But now we came to an end. Uh, I thank everyone for everything. I just thank you. <laughs> I tried to say something. Before you leave here, I would like to say something about this program. First of all, when my professor asked me, would you like to go to Chrysler Library Summer School for Archaeology? I said to him yes, without thinking anything. I just said to myself, this program will be useful for your study and an opportunity which I definitely would not want to miss. Because I study classical archaeology and I like architecture, the sculptures, and modern. After the seminars by the professors who have excavated and studied the site, I have learned many things about Ephesus and other civilizations. And I gained another perspective about archaeology, architecture, and history. Accounting to lessons and Excursion has changed my perspective completely. Before I was only looking and visiting, now I start to see and understand which makes me very happy. I have lots of good friends here from different countries and I have learned something from them. And I have told them a little trick. <laughs> At last, I would like to say a big thank you for everything, especially to Dennis and her late husband, to my professor, to Norda, and to all my friends. I will always miss this great place and I will never forget with all my love and respect. Thank you for encouraging me to participate in the class, which I really enjoyed. 
Dear friend, I would like to sincerely thank you for the time that you spent with me and blessed to me. I was very pleased with feeling high and going to the first house and then thank you for joining together. And I hope you enjoy them and let me feel of you. And finally, dear Bennett, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for all your hard work. It was my second moment.
in this room. What you have learned from these wonderful people these last two weeks, Ephesus lives. Archaeology is a study of a continuity of life. It's the continuity. It just keeps going. Because you are taking now what you learn. Eric is going to it back to his classroom. You're going to just continue this. This is the continuum. This is the timeline of Ephesus. You are now part of the Ephesus timeline. I'm <laughs> 